Repair Network Integration, or RNI, is helping the Air Force transform its current processes into an enterprise-managed repair network. By integrating maintenance repair into the supply chain, RNI has produced a mechanism to provide more agile and effective responses to mission generation needs, the maintenance missions of launching and recovering aircraft. RNI is designed to enhance availability of parts and is one of the key capability initiatives supporting future logistics operating concepts outlined in the Enterprise Logistics Strategy. RNI is creating repair networks that are synchronized with the Air Force supply chain and structured to provide an enterprise view of repair. This enterprise view, in conjunction with a collaborative constraint resolution process between supply and maintenance, allows us to quickly make decisions on where and how to allocate resources. This process provides responsive, agile support to the warfighter. This is why RNI is so important. RNI is enabling the supply chain to rapidly respond to requirements at home and at expeditionary bases and will enhance our ability to beat America's enemies. Repair network management enables collaboration and an enterprise view of repair. At the top of the structure is the Product Repair Group, a collection of networks that support specific commodities or end items. The Product Repair Manager is responsible for the strategic oversight of an entire product repair group. A network is a collection of nodes with like repair capabilities that support a specific or similar type of weapon systems or end items. A repair network manager facilitates collaboration meetings between maintenance and supply stakeholders to resolve repair constraints. The repair network manager considers available maintenance manpower and equipment within their network when assisting stakeholders in constraint resolution. A node is an individual organizational unit, for example, a maintenance back shop, centralized repair facility, or air logistics complex. The node is overseen by a node manager, generally the shop chief. The Luke Hydraulic Central Repair Facility is part of the Hydraulic Fighter Network. Uh, we repair components for the A-10, F-16, and F-15 here at Luke at davis Mothin, Holloman, and Mount Holman. We've developed a close working relationship with the, our supply here at Luke uh, to ensure that uh, parts are getting inducted as efficiently as possible based on supply demand. When we receive a part, we'll uh, repair it and then we will turn it back into the supply system and from there it'll be delivered to whoever has the greatest need. If we were to lose our uh, ability to repair a component, uh, we would coordinate with our repair network manager uh, who would then leverage the other shops until we regain our repair capability. What's unique about the Repair Network Manager role is that we chair the collaboration meetings for our networks to try and find solutions to repair constraints. In the past, a node manager had to rely on personal connections. They would reach out to whomever they had happened to know. They could go lateral with other bases or talk to their own LRS, but they didn't have direct representation at the supply chain management level. Well, now, when a node faces a constraint issue, uh, something impacting their mission generation, let's say parts shortage, manpower, equipment shortage, they can reach out to us as network managers, and we can use the enterprise view and reach out across the collaboration to try and find a solution, or we can engage them with supply chain management representation. We come together as a collaboration or a team to find the best solution. That way, we can try to provide the mission generators with the serviceable assets they need. In parts and test stand, constraints were delaying repair of an F-15 pitch roll channel assembly, or PRCA, across the hydraulic fighter network. The repair network manager initiated the collaboration process, bringing the affected nodes together with the applicable MAGCOM A4 representatives, item managers, depot level repair shops, the Defense Logistics Agency, and other supply chain representatives to find a timely solution for the issue. So from the collaboration call that we had, we found out that the depot was actually trying to mitigate a lot of issues with the PRCA, so uh, issues with the test stand being down, issues with manpower, issues with training, a couple issues with tech data. So in the interim, we found out that we had mic caps out there for the field that we had to fill. So the call was really getting all the team together to find out what the way ahead would be uh, to solve the issue at hand for the PRCA. So by doing that, we were able to go and look at the supply chain manager and say, hey, is there anything out there you can do to help us? And then they're able to reach out to the supply chain operations wing 
and reach out to the nodes while the depot is still working on those issues to be able to meet the need of the warfighter. That's the decision of supply chain managers. They're able to work together to say, let's send the equipment specialist over to the supply, or into supply, into the DLA warehouse, to look at all these Kaddish Code F assets and find out which ones were nerds for which reasons and say, of these 200, this 15 are the best candidates to go back out to the field and maybe we can get 10 more items. Maybe we can cannibalize these and get five items back out so we can get a couple more birds in the air. Repair Network Integration is bringing together logistics experts to optimize repair capability and capacity for our United States Air Force. Getting the right players together with the right levels of expertise and experience enables the repair enterprise to quickly support day-to-day -day requirements and adapt to changes in the mission environment to deliver exactly what the warfighters need. The collaborative processes used in R&I will tie into a bigger logistics command and control enterprise that will provide a common operating picture for total force enterprise logistics capabilities and significantly enhance readiness across all the AORs. As a result, the R&I team will directly improve how we deliver combat power for America. The Bomber Hydraulic Centralized Repair Facility is Barksdale Air Force Base's hydraulic section. We service B-1, B-2, and B-52 aircraft for all of Air Force Global Strike Command. Being part of a repair network is a big change from supporting only our flight line to supporting the enterprise. But there have been benefits for us and the network at large. Locally, we have improved supply support and the airmen in the shop are gaining a wider range of experience supporting various types of aircraft. Big picture is a network allows maintenance groups and wing commanders to focus on their primary mission, generating aircraft. They can trust that the bomber surf will keep them in business. The key to r and success has been its focus on doing what makes sense and tailoring the network design of each product repair group based on the rigorous analysis and functional requirements. Some product repair networks are designed to operate under a surf, while others operate as a system of network repair nodes. Regardless of the design, R&I's analytical and flexible approaches to network design, collaboration between maintenance and supply, and resolution of repair constraints is exactly what the logistics enterprise needs to meet mission generation requirements now and well into the future.